Hello everyone. Today we will study about Mape Art 6. This is quarter 3, lesson 2, week 2, step by step silk screen printing using learner's packet or lip. Printmaking is one of the oldest forms where an image is transferred from one surface to another. There are various methods of printmaking. One of this is silk screen printing. Silk screen printing technique makes use of a woven mesh to support an ink blocking stencil acquired using a stencil to apply ink onto another material. Usually, fabric like t-shirts, pouches, caps, or any material that can keep the image onto its surface. Silk screen printing is a viable business venture, especially if you can come up with unique design. As most artworks, you just need to be creative and make sure to use the elements and principles of arts as you would in traditional art. Learning task number one. Look at the following pictures and answer the questions below. Write it in your notebook. Number one. Which of the following t-shirt designs caught your attention? Why? Number two. If you will be given a chance to think of any design for your t-shirt, what will it be and why? Number three, do you have any idea how a particular design can be transferred to your t-shirt? Answer learning task number one on your own. Learning task number two, read and understand. Silk screen printing demonstrates the wonders of textile paint on cloth to make a print. The materials needed for silk screen printing are A. Screen frame B. Photosensitive emulsion and activator C. Screen printing ink or paint D. Squeegee and letter E. Material to be printed Example, T-shirt the materials needed for silk screen printing are A. Screen frame Commonly made of wood covered tightly with a fine mesh. The mesh is your screen which the ink will pass through to transfer your image onto your chosen material. Letter B. Photosensitive emulsion and activator or synthesizer. Synthesizer and emulsion are two different things you will have to mix together to apply on the screen. Letter C. Screen printing ink or paint. D. Squeegee. This tool usually made of vinyl or rubber blade. Letter E. Material to be printed. Anything made from fabric such as t-shirt, bag, or it can be a piece of paper or canvas. Steps for successful silk screen printing. Number one, choose and create your artwork to be screened. Starter should have a design which is simple and clear. Bold and thick lines are suggested because printing delicate fine line designs requires a lot of work. 2. Gather your materials. Obtain all necessary materials and equipment needed for your screen printing. Number 3. Prepare the frame and screen. Create a wooden frame and cover it tightly with fine mesh screen fabric. Make sure it is stretched and tight as possible to make the screen straight. 
secure the frame with staples around it. Number four, spread the photo emulsion into the screen. Mix the emulsion and synthesizer. Spread the emulsion mixture on your screen. You can place the screen on top of a black fabric or paper to assure that it covers all the holes. Place it on dark place to dry. Number five, burn the image into the screen. Attach your prepared design to your screen and expose it on light to burn the image and let the design pass through the screen and transfer to the material. Number six, rinse the screen. After the emulsion has completely hardened, take it to a running water. The emulsion that was covered by the design flakes off as it touches the water. Number seven, print. Insert a cardboard into your materials like t-shirt. Pour some ink horizontally across the top of the screen and use the squeegee to spread the ink by pulling down. Press it against the screen to let the ink pass through the holes of the mesh. Learning task number three. Choose the letter of the correct answer to complete the statement, write your answer on your notebook. Number one, blank is the oldest form where an image is transferred from one surface to another. A, painting, B, drawing, or C, printmaking. Number two, screen frame commonly made of blank Covered tightly with a mesh. A. Wood. B. Plastic. Or C. Paper. Number three. Blank technique makes use of woven mesh to support an ink blocking stencil. A. Silk screen printing. B. Intaglio printing. Or C. Photo emulsion printing. Number four. A tool that usually made of vinyl or rubber blade is called blank. A. Mesh, B. Squeegee, or C. Emulsion. Here are the answers. Subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, like, and write your comment below. Thank you. Number 1. Printmaking is the oldest form where an image is transferred from one surface to another. Number two, the answer is A, wood. Screen frame commonly made of wood covered tightly with a mesh. Number three, the answer is A, silk screen printing. Silk screen printing technique makes use of woven mesh to support an ink blocking stencil. Number four, the correct answer is B, squeegee. A tool that usually made of vinyl or rubber blade is called squeegee. Learning task number four. Create a design for your t-shirt promoting your province using digital art software. Apply techniques you learned in the previous lesson. Materials. Use computer, digital art software, printer, and bond paper. Steps to follow. Number one, think about the distinct features of your province or an important event celebrated by your hometown. Number two, you can also include yourself to your design by proudly saying that the Philippine destination of your choice is one of the best in the world. Number three, make use of different colors. And number four, print your design. Here are the sample designs. For learning task number four, we have Montalban and Wawa Dab. Learning task number five, create a design promoting your province or an important event celebrated by your hometown. 
Use marker and any coloring materials in making a design for your t-shirt. Draw your t-shirt in your notebook. Here are the sample designs. We have Wawa Dab. Learning task number five. Ask member of the family to rate your output based on the rubric given below. Let them record their score and sign them. Do this in your notebook. For your reflection, write your personal insights about the lesson in your notebook using the prompts below. I understand that blank. I realize that blank. And I need to learn more about blank. Great job, everyone. Thank you for watching.